This is Aaron Spencer, Louis Wilton, and Josh. You are all on the editing types of editing. First off, we have montage. A montage is basically a collection of different shortened clips which are rapidly cut between to simulate the passing of time. This will show the progress of a character over a short amount of time but will be a significant amount of time in real life. The most common type of on-screen montage that the audience will witness is a training montage. It will quickly flick through different exercises to show the progression made by the on-screen character. The, uh, the example we have used for montage, as you have seen above, is the clip from a Rocky film when he is training for a fight. Next up is... Next is Sound Bridge by Louis. A sound bridge is where you can hear a piece of audio from a future shot that you can that begins in the current scene. A good example of this is where two people will be in the midst of conversation and part way through you'll start to hear an alarm to ring. The next scene that would be cut to would be one of these characters waking up to that particular alarm. AKA the Ma the Matrix is the most famous example of what Louis just explained. Next we have the cross cutting. This is basically where the camera will cut away from one action to another action, which can suggest the simultaneous simultaneous at least two actions, but this is not always the case. For example, if you've got someone chasing some, someone else, it can cut from like a close up of this person running, then to the other one running away in two different actions. For for example, for the cross cut, and we have got a white female roaming down the street, then it cuts to a masked man who you can't see very well, and as the masked man proceeds to chase the woman, it cuts between the two different pers perspectives, also going up in, chrono in chronological order. Next one. This fade by me. Fade is the most common use of editing terms and the most common use of fade can be to show the pattern of time. For example, if a person was to go lie, lie in the bed, the most common transaction between nighttime and daytime would be a fade to white. Fade could also be used to show a flashback. For example, if a person gets knocked, knocked out during a fight in a film and wants to go to a flashback, there'll be a fade to white with the little sound effect going on. is Josh again with con continuity editing. This is this is in the style of film editing and video editing in the post production process of filmmaking and of narrative films and television programmes. This is used to smooth over the inherent discontinuity continuity of the editing process and is to esta establish a logical coherence between shots. For example in, in the clip of sort of see you, they've got like a they are a group of black South Af African thugs chasing a man on a train. And as you can see, it cuts between two different perspectives. There's the thug crew and the man on the train, but they are both going forward in chron in chronological order. Next. We have is the most simple use of term, it is cutting by Louis. As Aaron already mentioned, this is the most basic, common and simple form of editing. It is mainly used to shorten certain scenes. Now there is a whole 
list of reasons for why you would cut a certain scene, such as needing to shorten it to reduce the entire runtime, uh, cutting out unimportant sections of dialogue, or removing parts where the actors said something uh, in a different manner than they should, or they just generally messed up the line. Cutting can also be used like fading to show a passing of time. If you need to get from one thing to the other and you don't want the audience exactly to know, the best way of going on this would be to cut. This has been Aaron Spencer, Lou Wilton, and Josh Hall on our editing terms of editing. Fuck you. Next we have his re reaction, also by me. The example shown at the moment for reaction is the, is the clip from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. As you can see the cloud going ahead over one, you can see the most typical, the most stereotypical reaction of what anyone would say, gasping with the mouth open wide. The reaction shot is to show a person's facial expressions or body expressions after a certain dilemma or, scene or situation has, occur has occurred. For example, when the, food, when, when the food machine does work and it starts raining hamburgers from the sky, people have a very relative distinction of reaction of what people would think about that happening. Split screen. This can be used to show a phone call between two people and also show both people in the same frame. This is useful because it can show both characters' reactions and body language without needing to cut between shots. This can show different people simultaneously in different places. Next, next.